Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you've seen my previous video, I had shared the books that I had read during quarantine. So this was the fifth book which I was reading while I was making that video. And I fell in love with this book. So I thought, you know, why not make a separate video of uh, particularly for this book. And I'm going to share top five lessons which I learned from this book for you to uh, understand and uh, look forward to read this book if you can. So let's get started. For starting i just want to let you know why this book stands apart it is because it has a lot of real life stories a lot of real life examples the author himself is a life coach and uh, through his journey he has given life coaching to a lot of successful people i think the book reaches out to you like it connects to you a lot because these are the real life experiences and uh, that's why i just wanted to share this book with you so now let's get started now the very first lesson which I learned from this book was not to set high goals. Yes, it's unimaginable how we are fed into having this big goal in your life and you work towards that but that is so, uh, you know, not achievable. You have to set small, small goals which you can work towards to find the bigger goal, to achieve the bigger goal and that's how you will be motivated. Example, if you think you'll get 1000 subscribers in one month, that's a big goal for a small YouTuber to achieve. Now, if I uh, break it down and uh, think of having 100 subscribers every month slowly and gradually uh, by increasing my content uh, value, then that is achievable. But if I don't uh, practically think about it, it, it is going to affect me, affect my confidence. And uh, that's how I am. I, I will not be so motivated to achieve that goal after a certain point of time. So that is the first lesson which I learned and that is so, so true. The second lesson which I learned from this book was a kind of a principle which is called the ripple effect. And uh, that means that by small actions, you are preparing for your big future and uh, it can go in negative way also. So if uh, saved by small actions like eating junk today, you are degrading your health. Uh, you're degrading your health and that's why you will be less motivated to you know stay with family and friends and that is how your relationships will get affected so it's a very small example of how your small habits can lead to a wide difference in your future and this effect is actually so practical if you put into perspective about how this really happens like you if you scroll now you are not going to study. If you're not going to study, you are going to take exam stress. And if you're going to take exam stress, you will not be able to achieve the marks that you want to. So if you see, it actually is very practical. The third lesson which I learned from this book was the book of gratitude or book of appreciation. So what it says is every day you need to get up uh, and before starting your day for five minutes, you just write uh, any two or three things for what you are grateful for, for the long term. Like you can start with one week and then you can stretch out your time and uh, write down all the things that you are grateful for. And uh, is, it makes you realize about all the things that you have in abundance in today's life and uh, what you don't need. So because of this whole social media game, it's very easy to compare our lives to others and uh, feel down. Uh, or feel less than other people and uh, that's that is a very negative surrounding to have and by start when you start your day being thankful uh, it will re-energize you in a very positive uh, vibe and a very positive way now the fourth lesson which i learned from this book was to track your small habits if you want to change in a particular uh, category of your lifestyle then uh, you need to track that habit example if you want to cut down on your calories write down every calorie intake that you do that can be tiresome or like not very flexible but if you start doing it like from one week and stretch out your time it can be really helpful because you will understand that where are you having the most of your calories when are you having those calories or the other example is to track your money spending habits like if you are a lot of a spender then you can make it a habit to write every penny that you spend and after the end of the month you can track down where is most of your money going like example for food or traveling or like in movies or entertainment and uh, that's how you can track your small habits and that's how you can save and uh, make a very good lifestyle change the fifth and the most important lesson which I learned from this book which blew my mind as soon as I read the chapter uh, was to find out your why instead of how. 
for example how am i going to grow my youtube channel versus why i want my youtube channel to grow and once i find that why it will be much easier for me to be motivated each day each time to uh, you know upload a video and uh, be consistent with my content so that were all the lessons that i learned from this book i hope you like it and if you do please like share and subscribe to my channel bye